We've been talking about the Biden document situation and an interesting point about that in regard to the way that uh, right wing media kind of pounced on the narrative that the left wasn't going to take this seriously and how that wasn't true, that the DOJ wasn't going to take it seriously and that wasn't true. And I want to dive into that a little bit more here. Um, and I'll say in every segment about this story that even though, yes, Biden has handled better this whole ordeal, not obstructing like Trump did with the process, it still is serious. It should be taken seriously, investigated. If uh, accountability is necessary, make it happen. Classified information should be handled correctly, of course. And then on top of that, what I want to dive into now is the right wing wanted to say that this story was going to be covered up. Liberal media wasn't going to want to talk about it and all these different things. And that just hasn't been the case. And when we saw the uh, news break with the Mar-a-Lago document situation, immediately right wing media, tons of right wing lawmakers jumped into action saying there's no problem here. Trump's not in the wrong. They're persecuting, politically persecuting Trump and defending him. The story breaks that indeed is less significant, but still significant about Biden and liberal politicians, liberal media sources are not reacting in a mirror way to the way that the right did. Instead, they're saying this is serious. It should be investigated. I want to give you a bunch of examples of that uh, right now. First, Senator Raphael Warnock, an ally of Trump, saying, I think it's great that the not in this exact wording, but that the special counsel was appointed for sure. I want to ask you about the uh, the latest with the uh, this documents case. Uh, wh what's your take? Was the appointment of a special counsel the right move by the Justice Department? Well, well, certainly. L let me say uh, at the top that uh, classified documents are to be taken seriously, and they are to be handled with a great deal of care, and no one is above the law. So um, uh, I'm glad to see the Justice Department doing its work, and we ought to let that work proceed. Do, do you perfectly great with it because that is how the situation should be handled. It's serious. We can make the comparisons, but on its own, it's serious and it should be handled uh, in this manner. So there you have a Democratic senator. Um, and then I have for you a Democratic congressman echoing a very similar sentiment. Congressman, do you get why so many Americans at least have the perception that the Justice Department does not treat all Americans equally? And, and what does the department have to do in these cases to reassure Americans? Well, doing exactly what they're doing now. We have a special counsel in place. Uh, the documents and the whole issue is before the special counsel and the investigations will go forward with regard to uh, these classified documents. So the way that you show people the DOJ is not biased in one political direction is by handling it uh, in this way is the message he's sharing there. Then you have another Democratic congressman Representative Matt Cartwright saying something similar. Well, it's uh, it's clear beyond a shadow of a doubt that we've got to review how departing presidents and vice presidents uh, are going about organizing the archiving of their of their documents, both classified and unclassified, uh, because this can't go on. I mean, and if so, this can't go on is how he ends that. And then you have Democratic Representative Ilan Omar. Start by getting your reaction to the news of today. Uh, six pages now, no additional pages uh, of classified documents of having been found at President Biden's home in Delaware. Well, one, I'm glad that there is a special prosecutor that's been appointed to investigate. You are glad that there is a special yes, prosecutor. Tell me because why. Because anytime there is a deviance uh, in regards to security protocols that should be taken serious, it should be investigated. What I find interesting is that Republicans who have defended Trump after he literally stole classified documents, refused to turn them over, lied about having them, made up some story about how he declassified them, had to have his how raided in order for those documents to be found, are now only interested in investigating Biden, who has cooperated, who his own staff and former staff have themselves turned these documents in. Exactly right. And then finally here, Adam Schiff. Congressman Adam Schiff, the outgoing chair of the House 
Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman Schiff, you were on this show just after Attorney General Garland appointed a special counsel in the case of the Trump documents. You said it was the right move. Do you feel the same way about this special counsel? I do think it's the right move. Uh, the attorney general has to make sure that not only is justice evenly applied, but the appearances of justice are also uh, uh, satisfactory to the public. And here, I don't think he had any choice but to appoint a special counsel. So then there you have Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, a prominent Democrat, saying that appointing the special counsel was the correct move. And this really shows you the difference in how the left versus right is handling these stories. Um, it's not to say that left-wing media or Democratic politicians are wonderful all the time. No, we know that's not true. But on this, are handling it much more honestly. Republicans jumped right into action defending Trump when the Mar-a-Lago story broke. Democrats are not doing that. They're just saying, listen, it should be handled properly, investigated. If there was wrongdoing, hold the proper people accountable. Boom. And if the right had done that, that would have been so much more appropriate with Trump, but they didn't. And then when the Biden story broke, they jumped immediately on the narrative that the left isn't going to take this seriously. They're going to try to cover it up. And it just didn't happen. And so now what are they going to say? Well, now I've started to hear that people are obsessing over the fact that Biden isn't getting raided. Yes, because he's complying. If Trump had complied, he wouldn't have been raided. Very interesting distinction there between the way that either side is handling this. Um, last thing I'll say on this story, NBC News reports multiple aides who worked for President Joe Biden. In the final days of the Obama administration have been interviewed by federal law enforcement officials reviewing how classified documents ended up in his Delaware residence and a Washington office. So the investigation is happening. It's not just being announced. It's happening. Aides are being interviewed about this and questioned. And again, it shows you, no, there's no cover up. There's no the DOJ only cares if it's a Republican. It's being handled the way that it should, fairly, and that goes right against what Republicans told us we were going to see in regard to this story. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get a full extra show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there's a link in the description.